Hi guys, what's up? Jared, aka One of the Nations Rage here. Feels like it's been a while, doesn't it? Let's see, one... my last video was on Friday, I guess, and uh, I guess it has been almost a week. Hmm. Anyway, today I have a proposition. You see, there's there's a couple places that I want to go and film and show you guys. Both places are really cool, really awesome, but I can't really make up my mind. I can't decide where I want to go. So I have a shiny penny here and I'm gonna flip for it. But I have to assign heads or tails to either two of the locations that I want to go to. So I'm gonna say that Location one, I'm not going to say what it is. I don't want anybody to be biased. Uh, location one is more resembling to a head, I guess you could say. And location two is more resembling to a tail. I know what location one is and I know what location two is. That's for me to know and for you to find out, my friends. So I'm going to flip for it. Uh-oh. I hope I can do this while I'm still holding the phone. Here. I'm going to put the phone down like this. And then I'm going to flip for it with my good hand. My left hand. Yes, I'm left-handed. All right. Flipping. Interesting. Tails, as you can see, clearly it has landed on tails. Look at this shiny new penny, 2014. That's actually good because I actually assigned tails to the location that I was actually more biased to going to today. And I'll tell you what it is now. It's located in Milstead, Georgia. It's an old water tower. For those of you that are familiar with Milstead, Georgia, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. You can't miss it. It's tall. It's above the tree line. It stands at over 100 feet tall. I'm not sure exactly how tall it is. I'll tell you what, though. I'll put the uh, specs for the place I'll embed them somewhere within the video I do know that it was built in 1914 which is awesome that means it's a hundred years old guys a hundred year old water tower in Milston Georgia that's where we're headed so stay tuned guys we're nearly there in fact if you look over here trees are in the way right now, but I just saw it poking its head. You see that right there? Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Yes, if you look just to the right of the red light in front of us, now it's under the red light, now we're beyond the red light. You see that? stone tower poking its head up above the trees that's where we're going don't worry because we'll get a lot closer we'll get close enough to touch it and I bet you're asking or I bet you're wondering gee Jared why why the head tails thing why does this water tower have more to do with the tails side of a penny than the head side of a penny? That's a good question. And the reason is because there are many, many tales about this water tower. It's a hundred years old. It has plenty of history involved with it. Um, first of all, I have my own personal tale. Think back to the summer of June 
1995. If you can remember that far back, if you were alive during that period, try to remember what were you doing in June of 1995? Well, I'll tell you what I was doing. I, my friend and I, there's a church up here that we used to go to. Um, we were kids. I was 10 years old in 1995. Um, so my friend and I, we came up here and we were at a camp meeting in the church. Here we are. It's getting closer. And we actually uh, weren't in the church service. We were, we were kids. So we were out and about exploring Milstead. And we actually climbed up in this water tower. How's that? So yeah, we climbed up in this water tower. There's a door right there. And we climbed up in the water tower. Probably weren't supposed to do that, but being kids and such, we did it anyway. Um, here's the church itself that I'm talking about. It's got a new owner now. But way back then, it had... This is actually the church that I grew up in from the time I was born until I was 10 years old. And uh, so yeah, just let me park, I'm sorry. I'm trying to concentrate on driving and telling you this story at the same time. Anyway, it was camp meeting 1995 in June. Just got out of school, kids. Nothing better to do but ride bikes around Milstead and explore. Well, the one thing that we couldn't resist checking out was this water tower here. I mean, look at it. How could you not be fascinated with this thing? It's amazing. I just recently found out when it was uh, built, the year that it was built. 1914. That makes it 100 years old, which I've already said that, but... That's pretty incredible. This whole town here, Milstead, has a huge history, a lot of uh, a lot of stories from the past. In fact, another tale about this water tower is my grandmother, um, my mother's mother, whom we always referred to as Maw Maw would sit with me on her front porch. Um, my mom was, was born and raised in Milstead. Uh, my, my mama moved here at a uh, later day. I think she was born somewhere closer to Atlanta. But she moved here. She bought this house. And my mother grew up here in Milstead. Well, my mama used to sit with me on her front porch when I was a child and we would just sit for hours and hours in the rocking chairs sipping on lemonade iced tea whatever have you uh, and she would tell me different stories from the past which was really awesome because a lot of it I actually retained and remember to this day now she I recall one uh, story that she told me about she said that back in the 60s or 70s a young man Climb the ladder right here. It was back in the 60s or 70s. He climbed up to the top of the water tower, way up there, and threatened to commit suicide. Now, not a very good story, but nonetheless, it's just something to remember. Something else about this tower to remember as I said before um, there's not a lot of content on the internet about this water tower 
there's hardly anything. Luckily, I found that it was born, uh, built in 1914, and uh, the man that built it, I found his name as well. I don't remember it right this moment, but I will put it in the video. But let's get out and check this thing out. Stands over a hundred feet tall. It really is a shame that you can't find any information about this structure on the internet. I couldn't even figure out who owned the place. Look at those old breakers. a toilet and some tires and that green thing would have went over the window the windows on the tower itself Guys, I'm so tempted to, to get up in that thing. Fortunately, I didn't bring a ladder. I should have brought a step stool or something. Maybe I could have got in. I wasn't sure if there was an actual lock on the door, but there's not a lock on the door. It's just got a latch that can easily be opened. Let's get the best shot. Get get the best shot if we uh, back up a little bit. Wow, it feels so crazy to be out here. I haven't been out here in so long, you guys. I have so many memories of that church right there. As I said, I spent the first ten years of my life going to that church. sun is glaring. I guess noon wouldn't be the best time to come here because the sun not really being able to see because of the glare. I really just see the outline of the tower. That's pretty incredible though that you know, there's no lock or anything on that door. That's very, very enticing. Man, I could kick myself for not bringing a ladder. If I had a ladder, I, it would, uh, just a small step stool, it would be so easy to get up in that thing. As I said before, I don't know who owns it. There's no... No trespassing sign. I don't know if the city owns it. I don't know if these people that live in this house own it. I just don't know and I can't figure it out. I've looked on the internet several times. There's just no information about this kind of stuff. It's 
a better view of it right there. Cat. Hello. I don't have any food. I'm sorry. As you can see, I guess the city, whoever owns the place, has put up spotlights around the tower itself. Obviously, they want to preserve it. It's a, it's a unique structure. They want to preserve it. And obviously for great reason. I'm really disappointed, you guys. Honestly, I wanted to get in this in, inside of it. I didn't realize. I I didn't realize that that the door was that high off the ground. Yeah, there's just no way I can do that without having some sort of ladder or something, especially with a hurt knee. I'm in very poor shape physically. I mean, even if I were to try to pull myself up over that lip, I would have no, uh, I'd have nowhere to stand before I could get the door open. I could conk myself in the head for not bringing a ladder. <sighs> that just chaps my khakis. Um, so anyway, I mean, and it, it, the thing is, it's perfect. In my opinion, I don't get a, uh, a funny vibe at all. I was wondering what that would be like, what it would be like coming out here, uh, just moseying up and down the street, looking at this tower, wondering if the residents of Milstead here would be paranoid, if they would, uh, come out on their porches and and yell threats at me to get out of here I didn't know what to expect at all so but actually I don't feel th I don't feel threatened you know I don't feel unwelcome here I don't feel like anybody's keeping me from being here um, I don't really think that those people own it that live in that house because clearly there's a property line it's right there can you see it you see that that row of stakes in the ground there with the black uh the black mesh fencing that tells me that that's their property line also the fact that their grass is finely manicured uh, manicured whatever and freshly cut and the grass over here is long like like it's not cut as often so that tells me that more than likely uh, the city of Conyers owns this property but even at that it just seems like to me that if the city of Conyers actually owned the property there are spotlights it's just a big mystery to me it seems like to me that if the city owned this place, they would have a sign, a placard, something outside of this structure um, stating history about it. Now, whoever owns it, they obviously want to preserve it. So I can understand why they wouldn't want somebody going inside of it. Um, that they're, they're probably concerned about vandalism and such. I have seen uh, just a little bit of spray paint on it, on the tower itself. But even at that, I mean, there are no no trespassing signs. And I looked into the state laws here in Georgia about trespassing. And basically, from what I understand, as long as you have not been told that you can't go on the property or and or if there are no signs put up, technically, you can't be fined for trespassing. Basically, the owner of the land has to tell you 
verbally tell you to leave the premises. And if you do not leave the premises from there on out, then you're obviously trespassing and you will be fined. It's a misdemeanor. It's a pretty serious charge. However, if there's no one here to tell you to get off or leave, then and there are no signs saying that you're not allowed, technically you're okay from what I understand. I mean, if the cops come and they catch you, you know, moseying around and there are no, no trespassing signs, basically what I would do is I would express to the cops, hey, I looked online. Basically, the last thing that I can do is go to the county courthouse and ask the clerk who owns the, the water tower. That's the last step that I can take. And if that leads to a dead end, hey, as far as I'm concerned, it's free game. So the next time I come out here, I plan on having a better camera and I plan on having a ladder to get up inside of this water tower. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry that, that, that I couldn't get in it today. That's very disappointing to me. That's disappointing enough for me to go to another location even. So this video is not over. I'm going to take you somewhere else. Stay tuned.